According to multiple sources, Sevilla coach Jorge Sambaoli is in talks with the Argentine Football Association to take over the reins of the national side. And we could be receiving an announcement sometime between now and the third week of May, which seems like a long way off, but it's only between now and another month where the Argentine Football Association has declared that it will announce its new manager to fulfill the vacant position left behind by former uh, coach Edgardo Bauza. Argentina is looking for a new national squad manager after a recent string of poor performances in their last World Cup qualifying matches and a quite dramatic slump in form that has seen them slipped to the playoff position at fifth place in the Common Bowl standings. If Sampaoli is in talks with the Argentine Football Association and he accepts the offer, which I think he would have to be an absolute madman to not accept it, I think it's a wonderful decision by the AFA, which is something that many Argentine fans cannot say very often, uh, given the AFA's reputation in Conmebol as a governing football body. Uh, because if you look at Sampaoli's record as a manager and what he has done, the type of manager he is, the style that he uh, in, uh, he instills into all of his teams that he coaches, I think it's exactly what Argentina need right now. I think they need that little extra energy and adrenaline heading into the final home stretch of their qualifying games to get to Russia. They want to do everything they can to avoid that playoff spot. And... I just have to say that I hope he is. I hope he is appointed the new manager of Argentina. For those who are not familiar with Sampaoli's work, you need to only look at what he did in Chile, both the domestic league and for the national side. Uh, at Universidad de Chile, the domestic uh, club, which is one of the best sides in Chile, what he did with that side in the early 2000s. And what he really built upon with the Chilean national team after his predecessor, Marcelo Bielsa, uh, left in 2007. Marcelo Bielsa, another Argentine coach who managed Chile in the early 2000s, laid the foundation for really Chile's resurrection into the super power status that we know it today in world football and what San Paoli did was he maximized Chile's midfield to the best of its potential he used he brought out the best in Arturo Vidal and he made Chile for the first time ever champions of a major tournament in 2015 99 years uh, into the tournament's history and Chile's first ever trophy in anything so you look at what he has done for Chile and you look at how he has coached Sevilla this season. They're challenging Atletico for that third spot in the Liga. They could get it. They could finish just behind Real and Barcelona. I think this would be an amazing choice for Argentina. And honestly, for a national side that has had a lot of trouble in the last decade or so in having uh, a really qualified, great manager that can bring out the best in their team and exploit all the, all the uh, different levels of talent both back and front, I think Sampaoli would be a great selection uh, after a really a, a dismal string of manager selections that we've had with Gerardo Martino, Edgardo Bausa, and really Alejandro Sabella, who was decent. He brought Argentina to the 2014 World Cup final, but he really didn't bring out the best in their attack, as we saw in that tournament when Argentina really struggled to create chances for goals. So I... Want to hear your guys' thoughts below in the comment section. Do you think this is a great choice for Argentina to go with? Do you think Sampaoli should accept the offer? Because apparently he's also in talks to take up the reins with Barcelona. Or do you, th do you think he should stay in Europe? Or do you think he should come back to South America and coach his country of origin? So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more video content coming your way in the coming days, weeks, and months, God willing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.